Hi, Bozen here. Glad to see you back again this week. Uh, if there is any issues with the audio, I apologise, but I do currently have the 3D printer running in the background there. So please, uh, apologies on the possible sound distortion involved with that. But I'm sure you guys can forgive a 3D printer in the background. Anyway, so what have I got this week? Well, after some feedback and other things from other people, I started to look at my filaments. You know, a lot of people said, ditch the cheap Chinese filament that comes with it. It's not gonna do you any favors. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to go out and I bought some filament. So let's have a little look in here and let's go through what I have. Basically, I went on to, oh, I'm just trying to remember the name of the company now, Robo Savvy's website. And this is where I got all of this filament from here. So I ordered some of their own um, name brand PLA. I've got that in a lovely silver. I also uh, ordered um, some Color Fab uh, PLA. This one here is what color did I order again? I can't even remember. White, I ordered that in white. Uh, I then also ordered some more Color Fab XT this time. So not PLA, the Color Fab XT. And if I remember rightly, this was clear or transparent. So that was going to be a little move away from PLA and they had a deal on at the time which is if you buy three foot rolls of filament they'll throw in a fourth monster file monster fill one let's just get rid of this box so they sent me this monster fill here which is PLA yeah 1.75 so at least yep they got that right and did it tell me what color I have in here flame red so would have been nice to have something different different color but at the end of the day it was free so not complaining that much just because I've got red already but they weren't to know that so there we have we have some flame red and that is a one kilogram spool so that's quite a hefty spool there what my plan is with these and the robot savvy there. What I want to do is I want to kind of do a little how does it affect the print using the current setup I have right now. How does the cheap Chinese PLA, which is currently running on there now, differ from using the monster fill? Monster fill. Did I get that right? The monster fill, yep. How does that differ from the monster fill to the color fab PLA to the Robo Savvy PLA? And then there, that's three new PLAs to check against. And then also the Color Fab XT, which isn't PLA, it's another kind of filament. I've forgotten the technical term for it. But that runs, from what I understand, color um, temperature variants a lot more nearer to ABS and what have you. I'm looking forward to giving that a go as well and then seeing how that varies compared to these. As this machine can do ABS then I don't see any reason why it shouldn't be able to do the XT. At the end of the day I'll have a go and if for any reason the uh, Color Fab XT does for some unreason reason disagree with the print head on there and possibly do anything to the print head. Another big thing that people have been saying to me is the print head. I basically said it's a piece of junk and the one print head that has come up again and again and again and again and again was the E3D V6. So I also invested in one of them. So let's have a little look at what's in here then. Let's find the best way in. And I've got to admit, this is all pretty good. I ordered this all on like um, Sunday, late Sunday night, and it all came Tuesday morning. So what do we have in here? First, we have packing peanuts. Best not eat them. Well, they do look like the diet version. Let's crank all of them out of here. So what do we have in here? Okay, what we've got is uh, 
Uh, it looks like the Bowden ad uh, attachment. A Themista, some heat shrink. A little bit of blue something or other. Cable of some description. The cable tie. The heat canister. The fan. The red and black cable with a header on. A injection molded shroud. Very important. Haribo. Yeah. That bit I will be eating later. And what we have in here is, let's open this. A thermal compound soft pack. First I thought that was just gonna be, that was one of those little um, things for stopping moisture, but no, that is a thermal compound. There's a little fixing kit, so some nuts, bolts, screws, what have you, and a little Allen key, even a washer in there and what have you. This looks like the main hot end, as well as the nozzle, etc. in there. And this is the main, I don't know, the cooling chamber, if that's what the word is. I don't know the technical term, sorry. Anything else in there? Nothing else in the little blue bag. And a bit of Bowden tube in here. And da -da 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 -da, VIP ticket free admission to Accelerating 3D Technologies. Whoa. There we go. I have a E3D V version 6 hot end. Now what I'm needing to do here is obviously this is something that needs to be built, put together installed onto the system etc but i'm not going to do that straight away what i want to do is i want to do my my tests with not the haribo but the filaments and because what i want to do is i want to go through how well and what's the difference between those filaments on the standard hot end that comes with the printer then once they've done all them and i've got a nice little selection of test pieces from that then i'll upgrade the the hot end to the the uh, e3d v6 and then once that's on there run through the gambit of all the materials again seeing the difference that upgraded nozzle makes compared to the other one so people can get a nice good like apples to apples comparison not just over on one material but on multiple materials i must thank all of you have commented below giving me nice hints suggestions tips tricks all of that there they really do help uh, some, a lot of them, yes, I've already know maybe, but I know a lot of the people that are watching my videos don't. So if you do spot something like, you know that can be done better than the way I'm showing it, please feel free to share it down in the comments because even if it might not be something that I'm needing to do or I have my own idea of what I want to do, it might help somebody else who's watching these videos because we've got to work together as a community to try and help each every, everyone along. And I must give a, a special little shout out this week to Paul Titcomb, who, I hope I got your name right there, mate, uh, who sent me a nice email with a whole bunch of links. Some of the stuff I already knew and what have you, but as I switched computers, I'd actually lost a lot of my links. So Paul, that was a great help. Uh, it's helped me kind of uh, steer back on track and it kind of get, helped me get my uh, out my posterior and get on with a few things. So as I said, what's coming up in the future, I want to do those uh, filament comparisons uh, then with a new head filament comparisons again so that way you can see new head versus old head uh, and I've got a few other little things in that email Paul sent me about possibly trying to mount this onto a board or something along the lines of that just to give it a bit of stability if I should need to move it but anyway I hope you've enjoyed that um, I hope to see you again next week uh, usual if you want to catch me on Twitter and etc you can grab me there and I hope to see you again next week. Bye!